Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're having the Cherry Blossom Festival, the Sakura Matsuri, here at the Wang Center to introduce the Japanese culture to the Long Island community. I've been producing the Cherry Blossom Festival for 13 years. This is the seventh year that we've held it at the Wang Center. It's a lovely um, exhibit. They have everything Asian here, Japanese, and, and uh, some of the things are just amazing to see the uh, tea ceremonies and all of that kind of thing and they have really fun things they make prints with fish who knew this table is the eastern suffolk bonsai society we're trying to show that you can start from plants that you can buy at home depot or lowe's and end up with nice bonsai a bonsai is a plant in a tray that is the definition of it. You can have them as tiny as this, up to six inches. You can have them standing as high as this, but they've got to be in a tray. Keeping them small is a little bit of work. You have to um, trim the roots. You have to trim the branches. Um, you can shape using trimming. You can shape using wiring. It's a very zen thing. Well, my mom's art, she's been doing this um, since she's a child, but she really loves her painting. Um, what she's doing is some um, sumi-e painting, which is a traditional Japanese painting. It's all about the brush strokes that she uses. Uh, she puts a little twist to it. Traditionally, it's with black ink, but she's using a lot of watercolor today. And she's also doing calligraphy, so she's writing out your name. And she does have a book that she refers to for some of the more difficult names. You know, there's a lot of symbols that represent the pronunciation of the name. So she'll sound it out, and she'll just use the alphabet to write it out. I do hand weaving, which is um, a style of weaving based off sakiori weaving, and sakiori weaving is a type of weaving from Japan where they used to take uh, like old kimono or old rags and tear them apart and, and we reweave them to make uh, Japanese obi or um, different kinds of clothing or other products for the house. There's no traditional um, kind of patterns or anything, it's more a free form of weaving. Even found objects you can put into it. So some of the weavings you'll see, they have um, like a sar like sari dresses from India that have been torn or respun spun and, and put back into these pieces, so. Like for this occasion, you know, I'm thinking of Sakura Matsuri, I'm thinking of the spring. Spring is very, you walk around and there, you see all the flowers and bloom and the sun come out and it makes you want to weave those colors in, in, in celebration of that. So um, a lot of the things you'll see today, they're, they're, um, they're more indicative of spring, you know, the pastels that are coming out. So that's, how, that's what I was inspired by for, for the ones I brought today. I think spring in general, and I think the, the sakura blossom symbolize catching the moment. You, you, ha, you know, don't let it pass you by or, or it'll get lost. You know, you only see these kinds of things once a year. Um, so enjoy it, you know, and, in, and, and have a party around it. It's also just making time to be with nature. You know, we're so embedded in the city and concrete and everything that it's letting, reminding us to reconnect with nature, at least, at least for that very short time. 